Okay, so here is a quick show of how I do my thumbnails as part of the partnership program on YouTube. So this is one way of doing the uh, thumbnails, your own personalized thumbnails, if you've got extra cameras. Now we're going to set up here. What we're going to do is get this camera set up. It's looking pretty good. Now thumbnails generally two megabytes is your limitation. Uh, so we got eight. We're, we can put it probably put it at eight megapixels, I guess. Twelve kind of puts it over the two megabytes. So eight is probably good. Be a two megabytes or a little under. If not, I can always crop it down, which is a good thing. So what we want is we would generally generally what I want is I want the front of just the front portion of the the sweet death sauce, um, and I want to get the skull in the thumbnail, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. This might work. Why not? Why not? Okay. I got my pajamas here. I'm going to use my pajamas. Get rid of this. Get rid of this stuff. Get rid of the glass. Bring this case over. Set this case here like that and move the camera back. I'm going to put this over. Okay, so I'm ready to take this thumbnail now. I got her geared up. Got her set up fairly nice here. I'm going to take a couple of thumbnails. Um, hold on now. Okay, let's take a couple. Let's see what we got here. Ready? Not bad, not bad at all. A pretty decent thumbnail. So this is how I do one of my thumbnails. Just basically set up, get a get a setup rigged up, and then uh, take a few shots from the camera. Now, uh, now we'll go on and uh, see how I do my other thumbnails. Okay, so the other way that I also do my thumbnails is. After I've completed editing my video and I transfer it to another file, I open it up just like this. I stretch out my image, stretch out my screen so I can variate where I'm going to pick the thumbnail from. And I just basically go through and I look for a good yeah. spot Claire's hot sauce. as an example. I'll just use this as an example and then I'll put on a full screen it. I'll hit my screen capture. I'll screen capture that. So I'll just go through and I'll look for some interesting spots that might make a thumbnail. That might be an interesting thumbnail. And I'll just put my video on full screen and I'll, I'll hit my screen capture and I'll screen capture a couple of a couple of spots. You know, like usually three or four vo photos throughout the video. And what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll drag however many videos I or how many however many pictures I've taken. I'll drag them all into my iPhoto. Just like that. Okay, so once I get them into iPhoto, I just edit them a little bit, work with it. I'll uh, maybe enhance the photo a little bit, it might brighten up on me. I'll crop it. So what I'll do is I'll crop it down just like that. And I'll just take a you know, something like something like about that. Click done and then I get a more cropped version of it, right? A little bit closer. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll adjust it. I'll turn up the definition, maybe sharpen it up a little bit. Sharpness, denoise, change the shadow maybe, make it darker, make it brighter, highlights, just the just the image, right? You know, there's exposure, contrast, saturation. I know saturation is a good thing to use because it brings the color up in a uh, in a thumbnail nicely. You can see it see it much better. And then I'll click done, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. And I'll shut down my iPhoto, and I'll just go back to my YouTube channel, of course, and bring that back up, and and then I'll just uh, you know do what you have to do, right? Go to my videos, and then uh, upload the thumbnail. Simple as that. Uploader, two megabytes. 
Okay, so basically that's uh, that's a quick show of how I do my thumbnails. Uh, most of the time I, I do put in my personal thumbnails. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is, uh, hope you found this uh, somewhat helpful and whatnot and doing some thumbnails. There are many different ways you can do it, but those are the two ways that I do it. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.